Hey, it's Matt from McGee Farms. And you see in front of me here, we got some post up. Uh, you see I've got a trailer full of wood and a bunch of holes dug. A few empty sacks of quick creed as well. And uh, yeah, it's our new project that we've got going on. This is something that I've kind of been thinking about on and off for the last few years. And uh, we had a raccoon problem. We lost a lot of birds, but we lost one that was really special to us. It was a peacock we'd had for 17 years. And uh, I've been thinking about doing a larger enclosure for uh, peafowl, some pheasants, some quail, some ornamental birds. Uh, been thinking about it. I've got been, been thinking of different ways to do it. Finally came up with a plan. I've got some more peafowl ordered. We still have our peahen. Uh, I've got some pheasants. Actually, uh, some eggs are supposed to be in tomorrow that we're going to start incubating. But uh, here's the start of our setup. And as we go along, I'm going to keep taking videos until we get done because it's hopefully, if it's going to work out like I'm planning, like I'm, I have it pictured in my head, uh, it's going to be pretty sweet. But we started out uh, drilling holes on eight foot centers. We've got uh, four by four, I believe they were, I believe these were 12 footers, uh, which would put them 10 foot up in the air. Came in here, did the, did the holes, got the auger on my tractor over here, and uh, actually uh, there's a video on, on it kind of showing how to use the auger a little bit if you've never used one, and uh, a few different things like the different kinds of bits that are out there, and of course the fact that it is quite possibly the most pain in the rear implement for a three-point tractor to put on and take off. And had lots of problems because it's like drilling in concrete. Everything is so dry here right now. And literally took me a week and a half to drill 21 holes to two foot deep. Uh, I mean, really, really wasn't a lot of fun. But we've got all the holes in. We started setting posts last night. I haven't really made many videos up until now because I've been just so busy uh, trying to get these holes dug and like i said we got them we have our corner post on we got a few more i've got help coming here in a couple hours and we're going to hopefully uh, get the rest of these posts or most of them done and once we get them done you'll see them up and we're going to start connecting them together get the wire in and uh, show you how we're setting it up and you know, if you've been thinking about the same thing, hopefully uh, this will give you some ideas to put something together for yourself. Okay, so I did a video yesterday where we just had a couple of the posts, maybe about four or five of them up. And uh, we got a lot more done yesterday. And uh, I actually just about have all the posts up. I think we've got seven more to put in, which we're gonna be doing here in just a bit. But uh, this is the next day, kind of where we're at. Here in about an hour or two, we're gonna be setting the last seven posts and then we'll start doing cross boards and putting the wire on and then start setting up perches and setting it up on the inside. So about four days have gone by since I shot the last video and uh, we made some progress on here. It's going slow. Part of it is uh, basically the fact that it's been over 100 heat index so working outside uh, take a lot more breaks than uh, you know you normally would but i've got the top outer boards all the way done on here all the posts i believe the last video we did have all the posts in and uh, we're getting we're starting on the uh, lower boards we got the top ones going all the way around i think one or two of them might not be level so uh, gonna have to kind of move them around a little bit. We're gonna start on the inner boards. I picked up some chicken wire last night, yesterday. Uh, this is uh, from Rural King. It was uh, 72 inch, so six foot, 150 foot, one inch chicken wire. We're gonna put that over the top and around the side. Also, we're 
Uh, gonna be putting an electric fence around the outside of it just to kind of keep predators out. But that's uh, the next part of it. Here in just a little bit, I'm gonna get up there, start cutting off these uh, the tops of the post and uh, also try to get the last of the boards across. I think I've got 16, 17 of the top boards left to go and then it'll be time to start running wires or running wire on it and uh, making the door. And then we can start moving the animals in at that point and then do uh, the uh, electric fence wire and start building them a little house inside to go in and out as well. So that's our latest progress and uh, next video you'll see the next stage. Okay, had about a week go by since I made the last update and uh, we're getting some progress done. It's actually starting to go pretty good now. Uh, as you can see, it's come a long way. Originally our plan was gonna be putting chicken wire over everything, including the top and putting two rows of metal on the bottom so the coons couldn't climb up over it. Uh, did a little research and chicken wire on top was a bad idea. A lot of what I'm seeing uh, was basically people telling me don't do that. Uh, the birds will fly up a lot of times and actually injure themselves to get a good quality poultry netting. So I've got one. It's a decent quality. Not a great quality poultry netting, but it's a, it's a decent quality. It's got to be for starters and uh, probably end up replacing it. But I've got it kind of up there right now. And we'll see, maybe it might be good enough to, uh, to keep, but I've got it up there now. I don't have it tight, but I just kind of have it uh, up and holding on with uh, zip ties at this point. And uh, without doing the chicken wire, we didn't need all the crossbars on top that we originally were planning on using. So a lot of these uh, posts I could have done without, but we're gonna use them to make perches and make a little nicer, you know, for the, for the birds once they're in there. But I did go one way with it just to, to help hold up the netting. The other thing where we're at right now is the metal. And uh, that's what we're going around putting the first layer of metal on. The idea is we're gonna go too high, which is probably gonna be more than we need but that'll keep a raccoon from being able to jump up. And doing a little research now, I may stop with one level, I don't know. You can see there's gaps underneath. I'm gonna grab the tractor, the bucket with the tractor and get gravel and dirt to put in there. And I'm gonna put fencing, older fencing that I've got down underneath of it. So that way they can't dig underneath i'll have it probably sticking out about two foot both sides so they can't dig under and then also we're going to put a electric fence around it as well but right now we're just trying to get the metal up hopefully today tomorrow i should have the first row of metal up and then i'll turn around and give me a little time to figure out what i need to do like how high i really need to make the metal if i got to go too high i'll go too high on it but that's where we're at currently. Hopefully by the end of this week, we should have this thing ready to go. Okay, we've had a little bit of time go by. I've had uh, a lot of equipment breakdowns, uh, been traveling a little bit for work, getting ready to make another trip here in a few days. But I uh, want to do a little bit of an update and I think I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna post kind of a part one of building this pen. Uh, as you can see, we've finally gotten a little past the drought. We've got uh, some grass growing, but uh, we had to make a few changes in here and I'm still making uh, a couple more, but we have gotten more, uh, more progress done on it. This side is uh, pretty much completely done at this point. Now we did end up staying with just uh, one high on the metal. That is plenty as far as uh, keeping raccoons out from uh, research that I was doing. I am gonna put a electric fence wire over around where the top of it is. So if the coons do try to get up, they're gonna hit that. I'm also gonna put one probably around the top. 
Uh, we got wire for the sides of it. Uh, as you can see here, this is hardware cloth and 36 inch was the tallest that I could get. So uh, I ended up on this side having to do two rows that took it up to the top. And I've got down here, we're at the, uh, uh, this is the side that faces north where the coldest wind is going to hit. So we decided to go ahead and do the metal uh, all the way up. And we're going to make kind of a little house on this side. But also that's going to give them a windbreak in the winter because it is just brutal right here. We're going to get some end caps uh, for the metal. I don't have them on yet. Uh, one thing that we did, and this was kind of kind of something where I had to come back and redo this, is I had everything at a certain height off the ground. So basically the metal was ground level and we really didn't have to add stuff to it. Uh, you know, difference of opinion with, uh, with the wife. You know, I always want to always want to make her happy. And uh, a lot of a lot of this is I'm pretty much building for her so I wanted to want it to be what she wants but she wanted the metal at the same height all the way around I had them where the heights of them were the same level from the ground but because we're on a slope uh, they were little, little different heights it would have worked she just thinks this is more aesthetically pleasing so that is basically going to leave right here by doing it it's going to leave me pretty good sized gap uh, from the ground unless I want to go in and trim up and cut metal Which I don't want to do that if I don't have to so I came up with another solution I've got chicken wire and what I did is I have chicken wire on both sides on the inside and the outside where the metal stops Going all the way to the ground and then coming in uh, like a 90 degree or like an L shape uh, coming out just a little ways on the inside I got the tractors, uh, filled up dirt in the buckets, and I've got a line of dirt to kind of cover it to make a berm. I'm gonna put a little more in here. On the outside of it, I went down to the creek and I got creek rock. And that way the creek rock, it's a little harder for them to dig to, but my thinking hopefully, if we do have a problem and they try to dig in, they're going to hit that chicken wire and that's going to stop them from being able to dig in. Uh, that's, that's the plan. That's what I'm hoping. So we have that. We are going to be adding more. Uh, this is kind of about as far as, as I've gotten with it so far. Uh, coming down here. This was kind of the old, uh, uh, the old one. I've got the, the top boards reset. I've got to take the bottom boards and this these boards out and redo them. Not 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 a ton more. It's just getting out here. It's been uh, it's still been pretty hot. I mean, it's been about a hundred degrees, so getting a lot of work. And then, like I said, we've had tractors. Uh, about as quick as we fix them, the tractors are going down, and we're needing them for work around the farm as well. So I uh, kind of got off of this a little bit. Uh, do have, as you can kind of see here, we had a couple big wind storms and we had some trees down. So I went and got some branches, uh, some pretty good sized branches from around the farm. We're gonna use them for perches, you know, once we get going as well. But hopefully today and tomorrow, I've got a couple of days off. We are going to, I'm going to get these boards done. I'm going to have all the wire up. I'm going to have to go back up to uh, the Amish where I get the metal from and uh, get a few more sheets of metal and get the end caps. Uh, and that should pretty much do the outside. Get it to where we can start bringing the birds in and then we can start working on the house and the perches once we get them in. I think I'm probably going to bring the goats and the sheep in here once I get it completely enclosed and let them kind of eat some of this grass down as well. But I uh, just wanted to do an update and I'm gonna, you know, go ahead, do a part one of this pen and go ahead and post it on uh, YouTube today. I will be heading out of town for 
oh, about a week or so, and then hopefully when I get back between the next two days and uh, once I get back, it should work out that I can hopefully finish this up and start moving birds out here. But that's where we're at so far. Hopefully you enjoy it. Hopefully it, uh, you know, maybe gives you some ideas, uh, inspires you for some bird pins as well. If you like it, please consider giving us a thumbs up, like the video, subscribing to the channel, leaving us a comment. It's always appreciated, and it helps the channel grow. Till next time, it's Matt from McGee Farms. Have a great day.